Hey guys, Lost Wolf here, and welcome to my playthrough of Star Wars Uprising, the Forgotten Foundry Raid, our normal difficulty, mission number 9 slash node, the final one. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so, as you can see, we finished most of the map, we only have one left to do, and I'm pretty excited to try it out, so let's, uh, let's get right to it. Yeah. Alright, so this mission's called The Mother Load. It's on Burning Kong, you'd be level 80 to access it, and the mission description reads, We have a problem. It looks like that Purge Trooper Squad wasn't lost after all, just trapped near Raw or Face itself. The pure chromium all around this area must have blocked their communications. If you want that ore, you'll have to take them out. Oh, and try not to get trapped yourself in a process. Ooh, I'll be sure not to. Alright, look at the rewards. Awesome. Alright, so you have to be... You have to have at least 19,500 PR rating to attempt this mission. And if you have a chemical uh, armor boost, it'll boost your PR rating. And the rewards level is legendary. You get a guaranteed 5 of the 5 stars event crystal. That is so good. And we get a 5 star weapon and another 5 star weapon which is relevant for me. But it'll make a nice addition to my uh, credit stash. And let's check out the rewards really quick. Nothing... Uh, oh, it's a, I think it's a little kind of different. You have more of the top tier, uh, 6 stars and 5 stars, or in material. And yeah, that's about it. So it costs 20 raid uh, tokens, and I, I missed one day, so I think it's going to ask me if I want to spend uh, Chromium. But first, before we continue, I'll show you, these are my equipments. Here are my abilities, and if I click Start, Confirm, Ah, uh, there you go. You need 20 more raid passes to continue. So, if I if I do my math right, it costs 100 chromium per 5 raid passes. And that's for a total of 400 chromium. So, even if this seems like a lot, I think it's worth it. Because you want to get 5 event crystal from this. So, that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully, if I lose, I won't have to spend another 400 chromium. That'll be sad. All right, let's check out this final level design on Burning Con. Ooh, I like the street lights. All right, looks like we're gonna be facing some purge troopers. I think they might pose less than a threat than those pesky droids. They're still pretty hard to take out, though. Oh man, these guys—they need to be. Okay. Oh, I just jumped right into the fire. Okay, my goal is to try to actually get them together so I can attack both of them at once. Otherwise, it's gonna take me forever. Oh my god. Yeah, you don't want to underestimate the fire. Those things really hurt if you stay in them too long. Especially the damage over time effects. Alright, just lowers this thing. Look at those special effects in the background where this place is mining the chromiums. Oh, come on. I hate it when they run so far apart. It's like, what's the point? Come on, come on, come on. Get together, get together, get together. There you go. There you go. It's usually that, that purge trooper in the back. Oh, dodge those guys. Uh, run through the fire a little bit. Attack them from behind. Ooh, getting blast of smithereens. Come on. Oh, man. I ran out of energy. Yeah, these guys are really tanky. That's purge trooper armor for you. Especially when you get your own purge trooper armor. They're, like, their defense is, like, super high. Not when it came out. They have low attack, but their defense is really high. Usually, it's weird. Usually in this game, uh, defense usually gives you a lot more PR than attack. So that's why the TIE Fighter armor has more attack, but it also has lower PR compared to the Purge Trooper armor. I guess that's why I'm loving up the Purge Trooper armor. Ooh, let me, hold on. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that back to tank, just in case. I'm gonna go up against a foe where it's gonna take all of my health, especially on normal difficulty. And this is only on normal difficulty too. I would hate to see what would happen on the higher uh, difficulties. All right, so it looks like we're blocked off by a giant path that won't stop me though, because I happen to have a lightsaber which I can slash. I guess each time you tap on it, it, it does an animate attack animation, and it just blew up in front of my face. No sound effects. I thought my lightsaber was stronger than that. What well, was so strong that it blew up the pipe? I think that's pretty amazing. Right, let's take care of that for a while. 
All right, so I'll leave that back to tank there. And ooh, it's a boss ahead. It's Imperial Commander. Let's see, what you look like? Ooh, you're a female. All right, so I'm gonna jump behind you, and I'll blast you to smithereens. Ah, uh, you should pose no threat since you're wearing perch trooper armor. It's a little bit hard to uh, attack you. I think I'll just auto hit you. I don't know if that does a lot more damage. Maybe it does. Who knows? Oh my god, it hurts. Let's use that special ability. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god. Okay, okay. No, I can do it. I can do it. There you go. Whew! That was close. I was debating whether I should go back to the... The back to tank. Ooh, look at these chromium. They, I guess this is in their raw form. They look pretty cool. Alright, so let's go check out what's our... Rewards. Well, we already know what the guarantee rewards are. Let's see if we picked up anything good along the way. We got 6240 credits. Ooh. Materials are always good. Yeah, orange. The last last one is a lot better. And here's the one I've been looking for forward to for a long time. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? Five star and five of them. Event crystals. Five event crystals, five stars. There you go, looks like they're giving me a lot of survival blades. Ooh, and I got a blast tech suppression rifle. If I ever want to go range, but I think my lightsaber is good enough for that. Alright, and there you have it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my whole run of the Forgotten Foundry on normal raid difficulty. I hope this helps you a lot, or if you guys don't plan on doing raids, I hope you enjoy this somewhat of a story-based uh, mission on the Forgotten Foundry and Armor Raid. There's no other text other than the one I just showed you. And you can also repeat these again if you like to get more materials, but they cost uh, raid passes, so keep that in mind. Alright? Alright then, I guess that's about it. Uh, if you guys like it, let me know in the comments and section bound below. And I'll probably do any more future raids if you guys are interested in these type of contents. But that's all for now, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And on that note, I just want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys on the next epic Lost Wolf production. I'm Lost Wolf, and I'm signing off.